this is all the stuff that came out of this camper when I was doing the remodel this is it when I've got some of it piled up on a trailer I know there's a lot of people that are interested in YouTube and making videos so I wanted to show you my thousand dollar setup this this uh, if you see everything here it's uh, more than a thousand dollars but I'm just mainly talking about the the structure this is the front of the camper it's a 2005 FEMA trailer paid eight hundred and fifty dollars for it there's the air conditioner in the hole where the hot water heater used to be there's the side of the camper I painted the inside of that window white one of the nice things is it has a metal roof on it there's a drain pipe and you'll see what it's for later walking around to the front door of the camper I've got a lot of cleaning up to do still it's been a long process I've been working on it 32 days these are my makeshift steps there's my rabbit i had 16 rabbits and a dog killed every one of them except for him the dogs have attacked twice but he's gotten away both times he's a little bit wild but he's been running around wild for a little over a year Here's another view of the camper. Like I said, it's got a metal roof on it, really nice. I've got it stabilized on extra blocks. That scissor jack is a stabilizer. That's the actual only window that I use. I got 10 full on that window. And this window here, I've got it completely covered up and screwed on with a, a old piece of metal siding under it. There's a lot of this stuff that I've collected over the past two years that I've been doing YouTube. I know that there is an echo right now, but when I use the Rode wireless mic, it sounds a lot better. Check out one of my other videos and you'll see. If you have any questions or comments about any of this stuff that has to do with this camper, just let me know in the comments and I'll get back with you. And this is just my iPhone because that's the only camera that I use. Only camera that I have to make videos is this iPhone X. Moving on here, this is where I make my videos. As you can see, I've got it a little bit junked up because it's still a small space. Those are the lights I got at Walmart. They're not very bright. They're pretty. You can change colors. They've got a remote control, but they're not very bright. These are brighter. They've got an app on the phone. Uh, my kids bought this at Goodwill and they didn't want it anymore and I'd always wanted one. I'm a 90s kid. There's my rowing machine I exercise on sometimes. This is my ring light. I'll show you it later. And here's some cheap tripods. One of them came from Walmart. One of them came from a Goodwill. I got my guitar hanging up. I have to turn it around backwards because it echoes when I'm talking. So it's a pretty nice little setup. Here's when I was working on it, the beginning stages, and here it is now. Bookshelf, I bought it for $5 at a garage sale. I got a radiator heater in here and that's all I use. It costs 40 bucks at Walmart. Got my old Apple laptop in here. And down here, I have a, a plug that comes from a breaker and I hook the radiator heater up to it. And that's my air conditioner I was telling you about. The camper came with it. It was in the wall over here. There used to be a window right there. That's where the air conditioner used to be. There used to be a window right there too. And I just covered them up because when you make videos, you want it dark. There used to be a window right there. It's actually still there. It's just covered up with that carpet. And I use the carpet because it absorbs sound and I got tired of messing with that wallpaper. The wallpaper came from Amazon. I'll put a link down below. There used to be a light right there, but I put a plug there. A cheap little music stand that I put my scripts for YouTube on 
I've got the lights at the top of the ceiling. There's my snake plant. I built that desk, the desk that you see there. There's where the, the rope light goes, the LED lights around the top of the ceiling. That's where the remote control hooks up to. It changes all different colors. Goes all the way around the ceiling. I'll put a link below. I think I paid $16 for all those at on Amazon. I put those lights in the ceiling, but I took them back down because they didn't look good in the videos. They're LED lights. I got them off eBay. So like I said, I paid 850 bucks for this camper. I put that light bulb in. I got it off of e uh, Amazon. Really cheap little light bulb. Changes colors. I thought it looked good shining on the Bible. I'll put a link to it below. It comes with its own remote. And then I've got this for Christmas a couple of years ago. My mom got it for me and it's just so I can monitor the temperature in the, the camper. There's another light. You gotta push a button on it. Like I said, I got those really cheap off of eBay and they're specifically for RV, uh, the ceiling lights. I made this wall here. It's just out of a scrap piece of board. This refrigerator was in here already. It it is loud it makes a loud noise one time i thought it was gonna actually go out but it's been working so i i keep it in here it's probably from 2005 the people that lived in this camper before seemed like they were pretty nasty people i don't have much in here coffee creamer coffee and a cherry dr pepper zero i love those things got some chicken in the freezer couple of whole chickens that used to be in a ha at a house in Atkins that we lived in this is my closet I left it that's one of the things that I left when I was tearing everything out here's the fuse and breaker box down here I had to work on it the other night because my ceiling lights weren't working so I've got a battery hooked up outside that somehow makes those ceiling lights work this is sort of a junky catch-all for tools and all kinds of things right now until i get it organized here's my coffee bar i thought this was neat this is where the little sink in the camper used to be and now i can make coffee every morning when i come out here it's like 4 30 this morning as i make this video and down here i don't have any plumbing any water so i've got one of these five gallon water things and i fill my Keurig coffee pot up down here and man this thing has lasted me a long time full of water there's the Reese family thing we remodeled our house in Atkins and we had that in our house and that's my urinal that's where the pipe outside goes a lot of people think that's gross but yeah it's my camper I do what I want with it now I've got this filing cabinet here I bought this the other day to put all my papers and stuff in and I've got it snug tucked in back there. This is what the camper looked back looked like before when I just had it cleaned out starting and here it is now. It's taken me, like I said, 32 days. I don't know how many hours I'd work on it here. I'd work on it there. there here's the other side, the way it looked when I bought it. Well, I, I it did have a, a counter in there, but it, we had already torn it out. Here's another picture when I tore some of the stuff out. How many hours I got, I don't know. I've got a wife and five children. I work 40 hours a week, so I just worked on it when I could. A couple hours here, 30 minutes there, whenever I could. The carpet, like I said, that was 25 bucks a sheet at Lowe's. And I put it up there to help absorb sound and get rid of the echo. That floor was rotted out. It's where the bathroom was. And I just took a old piece of board and I chunked it down there. And I built that, that little wall right there to, to hide some of the stuff and to absorb some of the sound. This is my ring light, 60 bucks at Walmart. And I like it. This YouTube studio is gonna be an ever evolving thing. There's a little shelf that I just put up to put my coffee cups on and things like that. It was just too much wasted space. So I found this 
little shelf at a thrift store for a dollar or so. Underneath here is a little cubby hole where I used to could access some plumbing and I've just got some paint and some screws and a big jar of change underneath there and I can just simply thumbtack it back together to keep it hidden underneath there so people can't see it so I can't see it out of sight out of mind and I changed my refrigerator doors around I don't know if you knew that you could do that so instead of opening from the other side I can access it from this side and it'll be much easier to get in there i put that uh that's folk art it's not a real gun and then i've i bought that that it wooden file cabinet for 15 dollars. i thought it would go perfect right there and then they were giving this metal file cabinet away for free and i've just got random tools and paper towels different things in there got a little space in the middle left over there's my toolbox it came from home depot quite a while back and right there where you could I, i've just got random things in this toolbox tools and junk i'm sort of a junk collector i need to get rid of some stuff there's the the lights that i'm going to put up there the place that you just seen now this specific wall i'm showing you this because this is the area where i'm going to make thumbnails for my youtube videos there's my desk um going back to that what i just said it's a place where i can make thumbnail videos right there is a piece of carpet that i've stapled to the ceiling it was just a piece that was left over i stapled it up there to make a sound the ceiling doesn't look that great if you look closely it's just duct tape that used to be a place where there was an air vent and i just taped over it and painted it black but that's it that's my thousand dollar setup i had a lot of this stuff before like i said that i brought over here but i like it it's been nice i've made lots of videos since that check out one of my videos and you'll see what they look like god bless